Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, are you going on? Louis, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist from the LAPD? Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. Who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? Evening, Doc. How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy-fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. So what about that drink, boys? gentlemen take your seats let's get this over before lunch Flight rose of the homicide squad has decided to take early retirement we will all miss floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work the department has arranged a wee drink at the galway arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Do you have the address? It's been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. That broad has socks in it, Brazier. What the hell? It's him, the top of the I'd rather you took the wheel. Parker wants the chief job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad Green. So they're both clearing the deck. Where does that leave you, Galloway? I get the point. Leaves me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean by the werewolf? Medallion. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the Black Dahlia. We any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. 
90% of murders are domestic, folks. Any central unit, car 16 out reports a possible jumper at 8 and hope the Methodist Church unit. I'll do it! So help me God, I'll jump! You need to get up there. Let me do the talking, detective. I know a ton of this psychology stuff. You take the back alley and find a way up there. Come on, Phelps, let's get moving. Are you jumping? Make sure you warn me before you do. I will! Wait, what? You think this thing can hold you, Rusty? I'll bring you down with me, Phelps. Come on, then, right foot. No offense, but I don't want you splashed on my shoes. Are, are you crazy? What are you trying to do? I remember my first jumper. You could have soaked him up with a sponge. This what you wanted? I can't do it. I just, I'll come quietly, just, I need some help. Please, you gotta get me some help. You're a danger to yourself and to others. You're behind the wheel. scoop for the examiner, Galloway. You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. You're used to it, Phelps. Move it along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. Patrolman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, Detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. Cause of death? It could be the head injuries. She has been badly stomped. The cuts look... What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. Hmm. Interesting. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed, a ring most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. What's the writing on the victim mean? BD, like Dahlia, Tex. Your guess is as good as mine. 
Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can't be the one used on the body. like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. The Bomba Club? Why steal a table lighter? What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Can we get to the bomba? Man could die of thirst in a case like this. for news. The werewolf? For my money, a copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. The collar of the decade. I've been working evidence on BD case for six months and got nicks. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, odd shot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us unknown in a corpse? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me... Gently? Let me finish, Phelps. A guy opens his mouth again after six months. Hey, come on! Uh, continue the response, guys. Okay? Let me finish, Phelps. A guy. Level code three, identify. Calling all cars. Citizen reports. Officer down. Six feet. the building, sir. Someone's gonna have to climb up and take him down. Good luck. Don't let him get a beat on you like I did. We'll get them for you. Cop killers are the worst kind of stuff. Citizen reports. 
Reports, officer needs help. Shots fired. Officer down. 6th Street and Lindley Place. 6th Street and Lindley Place. Unit to handle code 3. Identify. This is car 11K. We're on the help call. That alleyway leads to the rear of the building, sir. Someone's gonna have to climb up and take him down. Good luck. Don't let him get a beat on you like I did. Cop killers are the worst kind of stuff. Uh, I should have had that second one. Like killing co- <laughs> Won't help console the officer's family, but these guys are done. You can drive. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. 
Pour me three fingers of rye. Sam has taken me to Palm Springs for the weekend. Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Oh, Christ. You going to pay Sure I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Officer? Sure, she's that a regular. Is Celine is... Pour me another. Was a lovely woman. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. Was it valuable? Could it be motive for her murder? Who could say these days? I think it had more sentimental than monetary value. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with a load of shit. Hmm. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. Was he ever violent with her? Celine came in here last night looking like she'd taken a slap. They don't live together anymore, so it might not have been him. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Say, honey, what time do you get off waiting tables? I think he's a bit of a gangster. Let's get out of here. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. You want a tip? Refill my coffee next time, honey. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2Boy8899. Yes, Detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thanks. Drove me up to Mulholland and we did some necking. <laughs> the 
You find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharp as my investigatory instincts, Phelps. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind. Cold! That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. You know, you picked the wrong job if a healthy thirst offends you, Cole. We owe it to this city. Slow and steady, come on! We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killing. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there. Betty Short would be alive, the Japs would have spared Pearl Harbor, our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. It's worse than I could ever have imagined. All units, officer detail. Two of the shots fired. 391 Broadway, Mallory's Cafe. 391 Broadway. Unit to handle code 3, identified. Stay on this road. Just ignore this turn. It's left at the next intersection. Keep on going through here. Go to hell, Parker! No way I'm going down without a fight. Drop the weapon! Hands behind your head! Yeah? Fuck you too! Put your hands in the air! Give it up! LAPD! Don't make me chase you! How long are you gonna keep this up? You drive. I need to go over the case notes. I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. Thank you. 
Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. 